Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you an unboxing and initial impressions of the Pixel 2 XL from Verizon. This is the only carrier in the US that's carrying these devices in their stores. So if you wanna check them out before you buy, definitely go ahead and check out your local Verizon store. Other than that, let's go ahead and see what's new with this device and how does it compare it to last year's Pixel XL. This is TK, let's go ahead and check it out. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, this is the Verizon uh, branded version of it. So in the store, the box itself looks pretty much the same. Um, you'll have Team Pixel, of course, Google, the shape of the device or the picture of it. On the top, we don't have much. On the bottom, I just have basically an information here saying that this is a review unit from Verizon. And here we are, the Pixel 2 is, or this is the Pixel 2 XL, as I mentioned to you guys. The device is very nice. Let's go ahead and take out the plastic. And right there. Very nice. Uh, wow. Yeah, look at those two front facing speakers. Uh, we still have well, actually a very nice material on the back. It's not really prone to fingerprints. You'll notice right away it's not sticking. Um, still have that dual tone glass and uh, this is actually a painted uh, metal back. So just be aware if you've ever felt the, let's say the LG G5 from a, let's say last year, you'll notice that it's basically this, the coating that they put on it so it makes it feel like it's not metal, but really it is metal and it actually feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, we do have a front-facing camera, front-facing speakers, and the glass does kind of ever so effortlessly curve on the edge. Again, the XL does have a um, little bit better aesthetics than the Pixel 2. Uh, and of course, we have the SIM tray on the left side. This is already pre-populated with a Verizon SIM tray, a SIM card. Um, on the top right, sorry, on the right, we have power, volume rocker. On the top, all we have is a volume, I'm sorry, microphone. On the bottom, we have a USB-C connector uh, for power, audio, all of the stuff, as we no longer have the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Last but not least, we have the Google logo on the back, and it seems like it's not branded at all. So this really looks pretty much like the standard Pixel 2 XL that you can pick up directly uh, from uh, Verizon and as well as or Google directly. So I'm gonna let it power on, and then let's, uh, a few things more here we have in the box. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. We have our SIM removal tray, uh, more information, you know, be safe. I uh, want to mention that the warranty from Google has been extended to two years on this device. So uh, if you have any concerns or any questions, you can definitely have a much longer warranty. Here we have the, uh, this is going to be the adapter that we're going to use for data transfer. As now the Pixel and the Google devices have built in data transfer from old devices to new. So data migration is very easy, very simple. You just use this and your old cable that came with your other phone. The reason why they give us this is because most devices that come on these days have a USB type A connector cable that plugs into the wall or to the computer and one that's compatible with your device. And this is work, it will work directly with this. So you plug this into your new Pixel 2 XL and the old cable in here and you can transfer your data. They do provide us with the dongle. This is a USB type C, the three and a half millimeter headphone jack, uh, a USB C to C cable for power. Let's go and put this back here. And then of course we have the power brick. And this is a uh, USB C power charger. So you do need this cable to be able to use it. Now, before we go too far, I wanted to go through and show you guys some of the main differences in aesthetics from last year's Google Pixel uh, XL. So this is the XL on the left and this is the 2 XL. So again, last year's model, this year's model. First thing you'll notice is that they kept the same aesthetics as far as the power button and the uh, volume rocker. The only thing I noticed that they didn't do is they didn't keep the texturized button. So the button on the XL is texturized here. It's pretty much flush. They feel the same. But again, the longer volume rocker as well as far as the power, you get the difference there. Um, on the top, we have also another small difference. We noticed that the microphone is here, but we don't have a microphone here. We do have directly a three and a half millimeter headphone uh, jack, which is missing from this device this year. And um, on the left side, we have the SIM tray, pretty much the same position. On the back, we have the same iconic look. And I say iconic because that's basically the design that Google is, stuck, is sticking to uh, for going from uh, the, basically the Pixel line. We'll have the Dew Tone, which is a much bigger uh, presence last year with the LED, the 12 megapixel camera. And here we have a much smaller black bezel and very, very nice. The camera here is flush with the device where we have a little bit of a bump here. I don't know if you guys could see that. Let's show you right there. See, there's a little bit of a bump here. And then what you had last year is we don't have that much in there. Um, but the feeling on this is very different. Here, it feels a little bit more metallic. You feel the metal a little bit more. Here, it's a lot less, it's more matte, kind of a matte finish on it. So I like both of them. They both have the G logo on the back. Uh, let's go ahead and look forward down the bottom. You'll notice also one of the big aesthetical differences here is that this firing speakers at the bottom here for the Pixel is not here on the, two X, on the Pixel XL2. Um, as we now have them in the front, which is the big difference again um, on the display uh, and what we get. So we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison between the two. And I want to mention that some of the information here may not be 100% accurate. 
Now, as far as the operating system on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel, uh, the XL, the 2XL and the XL, are, we're running actually the same version of Android. Even uh, 8.1 was pushed over to the Pixel XL. So the 7.1 Nougat is not necessarily an accurate thing. The one thing that we are looking differently is that we went from a 5.5 inch display on this device to a six inch display. Definitely a bump in uh, very nice resolution there. And that actually does, uh, does also transla uh, translate over to the weight. We went from 5.93 ounces to 6.17 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier. Although I have to say, when you're holding it in the hand, it doesn't feel that way. The resolution is still 1440 by, this one's 2880 as opposed to 2560, and that's because of the aspect ratio. We went from 16 by nine to an 18 by nine aspect ratio in the new Pixel 2 XL. Uh, pixel density, of course, 537 to 534, nothing big. The 12 megapixel sensor does, does actually have a little bit more improvements than what we had last year, which we have now OIS, and we didn't have that last year. Dual LED flashed, 8 megapixel front facing uh, sensor, definitely very nice. And we went from the 821 chipset on the uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 to the 835. Uh, we have uh, basically, as far as the CPU, this is the Adreno GPU 530, 540. That's just a, a you know incremental bump from one year to the other with the G, with the CPU and reference. Still four gigs of RAM. Uh, as far as battery, we did go slightly higher from 3450 to 3520. Fingerprint sensor, Type C connector, of course. Uh, SD, sorry, mem no SD card uh, storage. Uh, we do definitely only have one slot, and that's for the SIM card. We did go from a base size of 32 gigabytes of internal storage to the 64. So now we start at 64 with the Pixel 2 XL. Where we started at 32 last year. So at this point, we need to set up our device. Uh, I need to go through, and obviously, it's has given us vision settings, so we can click that. And it's given us the ability of setting up different things within the aspect. So magnification, I don't need to worry about that. Font size, I usually like to use the full uh, full resolution. And then, of course, display size, make it a little bit bigger here. And then, so if you want to turn on text to speak, this is more customization to be able to get it to look exactly the way you want it. You notice it's resizing itself, and the font now is a little bit smaller. It's checking for updates now just to make sure, and then it's updating some information as far as the transfer tool. And as I mentioned to you guys, now we actually have built in data transfer from your old device to your new one. So, transferring data from my old pixel to the new pixel is going to be super simple. All I need to do is connect it, and you'll notice you go through the option says provide, we use your old phone, and then you'll be able to basically find your old cable. Connect your old table to your old device, connect the old USB type A to the USB dongle that I've showed you guys, and then plug that directly into your, your new Pixel, and then that's how it's going to be set up. Very simple, very easy. The display is very, very nice. Uh, I do want to acknowledge the fact that there's been a lot of talk about the fact that the colors on the displays are maybe a little bit more muted, a little bit flat. Uh, and that's nothing to do with the display itself. The one thing that you need to be aware of is that this display can generate a really nice a wide a gamut of colors. Uh, it just, it's been tuned to have sRGB on by default and hopefully within the next update with, from Google, we should be able to see a, a better representation of color. Um, in the meantime, there is another video that I posted a couple of days ago if you guys want to check that out. It gives you a little bit of a hint as far as an app that can help you in the meantime to get better colors. The search bar has been moved to the bottom. You have Google Now still present on the left side. Um, you have the ability of swiping up to go directly into the app drawer. So let's swipe up. And um, you know what? There's no there's no Verizon apps. This seems like it's pretty much a pure Google experience. So you're going to get a really good, a very sm smooth experience, very fast, latest version of Android. Let's go ahead and go in into setup, go system, and then let's go, here it is. So here it is, system update is 8.0. So there is 8.1 that's been released on the market now and that's in beta as far as the developer preview. So I'll make sure to install that later on and see how that works on our device. Um, but other than that, the UI is definitely very nice. Uh, you still have the ability of looking at your categories of different areas. Uh, you have battery display, apps notification, connected device, Wi-Fi. Fast Bluetooth connectivity is gonna be compatible here as well. And of course, you know, Google account, system settings, support, storage, all of the good stuff. Um, the other thing that a lot of people will notice, won't necessarily notice out of the box is uh, there's actually now a squeeze functionality to be able to turn on the assistant. You notice it's asking me to set up, but squeezing the side of your device will initiate it. And uh, from as far as I understand, this is going to be the fastest way to turn on the assistant without having to call out its name. Meaning if you're in a crowded area or you're in public and you don't want to basically say that command, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Squeezing the device a little bit will get it for you. And you notice I did it from another position. Uh, the camera is also going to be one of the main things a lot of people are going to love about this. And the reason behind that is because it has now some of the best rating as far as picture quality, low light quality. And um, I'm going to show you guys some pictures that I've taken with uh, the camera itself in this overlay real quick. 
But the main thing I'm, I'm going to share with you guys is the UI is super simple. The ability of taking slow motion, panorama, photosphere, portrait is that big thing. And of course, settings. Portrait is really, really nice. And this is going to be able to give us that depth of field that a lot of people are going for. I went ahead and snapped a picture of myself. I gave it a second. You'll notice right there. It did blur out everything around me. So let's go ahead and zoom in. It does a really good job of basically lining it up. And then, of course, you can go back and see the original picture or you can go back to the picture that you just zoomed out. Here's a quick sample of the front facing 8 megapixel sensor on the camera, uh, on the device. Um, overall, I just want to give you guys a quick example of how it feels, how it looks like. And I'm going to be switching over to the back facing camera. And here's a sample of the back facing camera. Again, I'm using the 12 megapixel sensor in the back with optical image stabilization. So I'm hoping the stabilization on this will be a little bit better than what I had on the front facing camera. Uh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong spot because there was the G logo there. Uh, but hopefully, again, this is a good representation of what the picture quality is. And of course, we have front facing speakers. So let's go ahead and listen to some music. Last thing I want to mention about the display is there is a present a little bit of a blue tint in here. It's not a big problem for me overall. Most of the time, if you're looking at the device straight on, which is what we mostly do when we're using our devices, it is not a present thing. The Pixel 2 XL feels great in the hand, even though it's a little bit heavier than the original Pixel, it does actually feel lighter in the hand. And I think that's because of weight balance. Uh, the display is very nice. The camera performance is really, really nice. And overall, what I'm giving you guys here is just an initial impressions of a Verizon version of this device. There's no bloatware. It's going to basically be just basic stock experience, fast and latest and greatest updates as soon as they're released by Google. So that's one of the things you want to be aware of. You're getting a really good deal from a local carrier that you can go into the store and pick this up from. Now, actually, check out the device before you even have to you know, get it. Um, I hope you guys like the video samples that I threw in there just again to show you guys. That's about the only thing I have about this device at this point is I wish it recorded in stereo. But again, if you're editing the software or this video in any kind of editor, it's easy to replicate the audio. But again, uh, you may have to use a third party or so, you know another provider's camera to be able to get that stereo performance out of it. But again, super hardware, very, very nice. Cannot wait for the 8.1 installation on this to be able to see some of the new features coming down. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. I'll have more videos on the Pixel 2 XL with, uh, I did put out a video for the colorizer which just shows you guys how to fix the tone, the color issues right now it, while we're waiting for Google to give us the update. Um, and of course, there's other mods we'll be able to theme it and things like that. So I'll have more videos for you guys. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? And I'll see you guys in the next video.